Okay, so why do uh, many shampoos and soaps have the same ingredients? Is there anything different between them? Do they have different results when they have the same ingredients? Product development, how are these made? So what you'll find is um, all different shampoos and soaps have very, very similar ingredients. Um, sometimes the same ingredients, but there's very different things between the results. And why is this? Um, so what you'll find is, uh, particularly with Castile soap or organic soaps, is a very clear um, soap base. So what you get is a soap base, and then people tend to add moisture, shine, conditioner, whatever it is for the uh, target market or the target result that you're going for. Obviously with uh, dreadlock shampoos you don't want any unnecessary additives, you want a very good soap base and that's your basis to work from. The next point then is you would get lots of different samples from lots of different soaps and lots of different soap bases or shampoo bases. Test them out, find which one works for you. Although that the ingredients may be the same, the place where the ingredients is sourced is going to vary in quality and then further from that the percentages of those different ingredients will vary or obviously give you a different result as well. Whilst one company may have a very different result, a different uh, product, um, but the same ingredients as another company, the results are going to vary because the formula is, is, is different. What we've done when we were making the Dreads UK shampoo is we contacted lots of different places, got lots of different samples, tested them out on uh, on these babies, on, on friends and family that have dreadlocks, and found a, a good one that works for us, uh, negotiating with them and saying actually can we have a little bit less of this one, a little bit more of this one, to, to sort of finely hone the ingredients. Uh, once you have that ingredients, the next question is, do you want to add fragrances? Obviously, to guarantee residue free, we didn't want to add a fragrance, we wanted to keep it fragrance free. When you get your sample, if you then want to put it through, for dreadlocks, you want to put it through viscosity testing. Now, viscosity testing is basically to test the thick consistency, if it's going to be water soluble or not. So something that has a very low viscosity means it's very thick. The way that it passes through its chosen uh, texture, so dreadlocks, is going to be a lot slower if it's a low viscosity. If it's a high viscosity, it's going to be a lot more water soluble. So to test that, you would have a long uh, tube that has equal measurements down the side. You would mix the uh, solution with water, get the water to the temperature that you would wash your dreadlocks with, average bath temperature or shower temperature. Mix the solution together and then you would take a weighted ball, drop it in the top and calculate the time that it takes to run from the top to the bottom. So it's distance over speed equals viscosity until you find the one that you like. Uh, the second thing you test for is residue. Again, you mix the water and the, sh and the solution, the, the, the shampoo base that you're using, put it into a filter, uh, you run it through a filter. Once you've run it through the filter, you will see uh, what's left on top of that filter. You then dry it with a hairdryer. So, you know, a lot of people dry their hair with a hairdryer, so it's a good way to sort of uh, test a, a real life situation. And then what you've got that's left on the filter paper, you scrape off into a Petri dish, and all the bits that's left, you will see what's, what's sort of left in that solution. Um, if you're thinking of adding fragrances to, to a shampoo that is unscented, what you'll find is the stability of that shampoo would vary. If you add too much essential oil, what happens is the shampoo can become quite watery and in some cases lose its quality. You can tend to take the percentage of somewhere between 0.5 and maybe 1 or 2 percent you're going to be pretty safe. And anything beyond that you, you kind of want to test it. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is put a little bit of shampoo into a container, add your essential oil and remember how many drops you're putting into how much of that solution. And then when you get to a point where it's too watery you know that's as, that's as many drops as you can add. If you have any more questions about how we develop our shampoo, anything else to do with Dreads UK, you can check our YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description below or if you're on Facebook I'll, I'll add it into the comment and then you can sort of keep up to date with where we're at with things. And as questions arise I'll post more videos and uh, yeah.